Are you ready for dancing? Yeah. What is paradise? Is it somewhere I should be letting my door? Uh, it's a new club, but we're all going, so... Want a lift? Well, come on, there's plenty of room in the back. All day? No way. She fancies you, really. I do not. <laughs> I think you'll take Millie to the babysitters for me. We're not gonna need that boring babysitter, are we, Mills? Dean? Everything's gonna be okay. She's fine. You can remove the collar and discharge her. Oh, I don't want to be paralyzed! <laughs> She's still alive. Call an ambulance. I'm Zoe Hannan, you consultant. Okay, if I do this? Yeah, go for it. There's a baby! What's happened here? She's had some. But... Vaginal discharge. You can't be afraid of human bodies and do this job. The two just don't go together. Your waters are breaking, that's all. Your patient, your responsibility. <laughs> when he came down now, Ted! I never told Nadia to remove the collar and discharge the patient. Are you saying it was her fault? Yes. <laughs> OK, just... Let's just go for you, yeah? Lee, where are you going, mate? Kels, can you cope here, yeah? frightening experience for you. You're in shock. I'm sorry you had to see what you saw. It might have looked violent, but we're just trying to help, okay? Let's get you to the hospital now. Get you checked over. Dean? Leave me alone. Put the gun down, yeah? I need to go. I've got to get out of here. Oh, police! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! See there! Do your Drop move. the gun! No! Do it now! No! Ah. Oh, see you! See you! Do your move! Do your move! See there! Do your move! Sure, it isn't your idea of a top venue. Still, Happy New Year. Sorry about the noise. I hate bagpipes. Doctor, how long will it be before we know how much damage? The difficulty is that the impact of the shock of the effect can often be as detrimental psychologically as any physical damage to the Dean, it's Mum. I'm OK, but they've got the police. You, you've got to get away. Just, just go. I won't say anything. Kate. Kate! Kate! Me? Hello. I'm Dr. Zoe Hannah. Can you tell me your name? Kate Villiers. Why did you discharge a patient without a doctor's consent? I didn't. You gave her the all clear. That's not Ruth's version of events. You told me to take off the collar and discharge her. I never said that. You said she was fine. Those were your exact words. She's fine. You weren't even concentrating. You were talking to Big Mac. That's rubbish! What were your exact words, Ruth? I said, she's probably fine, but do not remove the collar and do not discharge her. She's and lying! I'm to get a second opinion on an x-ray. That is not what happened. That's enough. There's a girl out there potentially paralysed from an accident she had in this hospital when under your care. If you can't come to an agreement on what happened, then I'm sorry, but we'll have to have a formal investigation, as her mother's requested. There's him. Come on, sunshine. Let's get you looked at. Up, up. One, two, three. Okay. Shouldn't have let him in. What's he talking about? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Uh, 
Chris, you, Chris, you call me back if you get this. It's urgent. We're supposed to get a hold of it. Yeah, this is Dr. Truman from the ED. We're, um, we're stuck in a lift with a patient. Can you get us out, please? Oh, dear, that's not good. Um, we don't go anywhere. Okay, just be... a massive trauma. Don't push the questions too hard. Anything about your attacker, Mrs. Villiers? He just charged in. I didn't get a chance to see him. So you opened the door to him? There was a knock at the door. Yeah, yeah, I, I opened it. But you didn't get a chance to see him? You were found in your bedroom? Yeah. How did you get up there? I ran, you know, he had, a, he had a gun. Did he say anything to you all this time? What did he say? I can't remember. I can't remember. I don't remember. Did he threaten you? Did he want something from you? He told me not to worry. He said that everything would be okay, all right. Okay, that's enough for now. Thank you. Could be worse. Must be in the worst shift of the year, and all. Over stretch. Can somebody get that, please? It's an organisation. That's the key. Not a good time management. Have you had any luck getting an engineer for the lift? Uh, well, the well, um. Then get on with it, please. Oh, you see, Tess. What's them stress levels, love? They put you in a nearly grave. Hobby City ED, Sister Bateman. Right. Right. OK, thank you. We've got multiple casualties coming in. There's been a shooting in a nightclub. So let's clear the queue ASAP, warn X-ray labs and hospital night managers and transfer any patients waiting for beds up to wards. I won't let you blame me again. Not this time. I take it you've heard about the shooting? Yes, I've just... Then you need to transfer as many patients as you can up to wards, get onto x-ray, lab. I think I know how to run my department. <coughs> oh, really? Really? Can someone clean this up, please? I certainly hope so. Because after what happened upstairs before Christmas, we can't afford to take any more chances. This department is not going to close. How it's run reflects on me. Do I make myself clear? We do our best. It might have been easier if you hadn't forced Charlie to resign. Hmm. Are you saying you can't cope? No, that's not what I'm saying. Exactly how full are you already? Full? OK, so what are you going to do? I'll allocate nurses for the inbound cases, but I'll need you to sort me out bed and bank nurses ASAP. Fine. I want regular updates. My office. Of course you will. Hey, gorgeous. Yeah, I know, I know, it's crazy, but, um, listen, why don't you order some more champagne and as soon as I get out of this... Well, of, of, of course it's the truth. Why would I pretend to be stuck in a lift? No, I'm not shagging someone else. That's a, a, a woman in labour. Hey, hey, baby, just, just calm down. What? what? Hello? Oh, I want an epidural! I need drugs! I need drugs! 
slip off her. Will you rub her back or something? What's she doing? She's having a baby. They're contractions. What do they teach you these days? Hello? 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 Uh, yeah, this is Dr. Truman. Still stuck? Uh, no, Mac. I thought I'd just ring and ask you what you got for Christmas. Uh, yeah, we're still stuck in the lift. What's going on? We're waiting on the engineer, what? are we? Total incompetence. You Alice, can you keep her quiet, please? I don't think he's going to get you a song, Well, yeah, well, can't you get another one? This is the only one I'm sorry. This is a, this is a total shambles. Uh, this is unbelievable. Just die. Just die. What happened to the sky? Ah. C78, C5, what does it mean? It's about the possible extent of the injury. I will talk you through it, Mrs. Inwald. Well, I left. My doctor was totally fine. When I came back, she's like this. What do cars blame that this is definitely the hospital's fault? It's a serious incident, and we will be looking into it with care. Am I going to be like Superman? Superman? Well, he could never move again, could he? Oh, my God. Please don't cry, Mum. I'm fine. Look, we won't be able to tell you anything until we've given the bruising and swelling time to recover. Sir. Ah, oh, Dr Withers. Sister Bateman's asked me to go over a few details. Shall we? Uh, it's Dr Winters, actually. Apparently, there's been a discrepancy between you and Nurse Tallyho. Oh, Tallyho. Oh, over whether you discharge your patient or the involved or not. Now, I would never have discharged her, not with a possible C7 fracture. Tell me what you know about spinal injuries at C7. Uh, well, damage to the core of C7 could affect the spinal thalamic and or the corticospinal tracts from the upper and lower limbs and torso. It could also affect colonic and genitourinary function. What made you think this patient had a possible C7 injury? Well, the x-ray. How? The swimmer's view isn't easy to read. Here. A faint lucency through the lamina of C7. Well, what would be your diagnosis of what happened when she fell off the bed? Well, due to the unfortunate angle at which Orla fell, there was enough stress through the already weakened lamina to displace the fracture and possibly to have damaged the cord. And how should such a weakened lamina be treated? Kept in a collar under close observation. Which is why, under no circumstances, would I have told staff nurse Telianos to discharge the patient. If she was under your care, what would you do with the next? Uh, arrange a CT MRI scan on the neck and get the neurosurgeons to see her regarding potential operative intervention. I'll let you organise that, then. Oh, yeah, I already have done. Good. Look, Dr Hannah, I, I may lack experience, but I am always thorough, organised and dedicated. I do not make elementary mistakes. I specifically told Nurse Telianos not to remove the collar. Look, I don't need convincing. As far as I'm concerned, you're totally in the clear. You are so naughty. I'll be right over. Doctor, I know. I am actually quite thank you so much for all you've done. Uh, do you think it might be possible for you to stay the rest of the night? I'm afraid not. I've done as much as I can with my Sister patient, Bateman. and I'm not even meant yeah, to be yeah. here. I need you to stay, Dr. Hannah. We've got an incident with multiple patients coming in. I don't understand. Why are we moving? I need, I need the extra hands. Jeff, just regard. This young lady was found with severe maxillofacial I'll call you back. caused by a gunshot wound in a paradise nightclub. Yeah, an emergency makeshift private fire would also be at the scene. Please. Is there any chance of some help in here, please? and CT, and I want a cross-match. Four units of blood, and we want analgesia. Can we get this right. changed on our IVF? Yes, some fluids. Can we do all IT Three, units? One, this is going to be easy. Three, one, two, three. Another gunshot wound. Right, she's got massive facial trauma. Tongue is bleeding profusely. Can we fast-beat the facial surgeon? Get some suction it's up here. Mom. We need sedata. Not Let's now. set up a protocol. No. I'm I'm sorry, can you, you just stand back? Thank you. you. Yeah. Nurse, can we get the fluids off? Right. Have we got a name? No, sorry, babe. I've seen this girl before. She was in here just, just now. They were, they, they were a group. Her name was... Uh, Rianne. Rianne. Hello, Rianne. 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 Stop, stop, please. What happened to her? There's been an incident in the club. We've got a number of casualties coming in. Please, Mum, go and see if it's her. Can you, don't move. Can you tell me the name of the patient there, please? No, please step out. It's enough and of being told what to do I by you, lot. This area oh, cleared. Get that Excuse woman me. out of here. Excuse me, please. Dr. Winters, I need your help. 
Nurse Talia, can you pass me a slice? Mum, is it her? Mum, tell me, is it her? Thanks. Right, she'll leave the bougie. I'll get that one. I've protected the ventilator. Thank you. Thank you. A tube now. Nadia, come on, sweetheart. Get, get I need that tube. Nadia, come on. What is wrong with you? If you can't handle it, get out and find me someone who can. I'll get it. Get out of my resource. Just go. Get out. <laughs> Straight through. We'll see you as soon as we can. Thank you. Tax. Oh, oh, Mr. Harper. Pete Frampton from Chimneygate Farm. Uh, yes, My right. Partners. Right. I heard about the shooting. Let's have a list of casualties. Yeah, a traditional one. Are there any fatalities? One's at the scene. She's not on this list. Now, where oh, is she? Lizzie, I forgot. Where well, has she been in the minute? Have you seen her? No. How many facial surgeon around here? Three, seven, two. Come in, please. Come in, through. Dr. So, this is Dean Villiers, and he's shot in the pub by the police. He's got one shot in the house. Dean Villiers? That's my stepson. That's my stepson! We saw her last in the queue, and then... But you promised you'd look after her for me. I mean, for heaven's sake. There's a nurse in here! No, no, you need to have to come first. You're not a bitch. It's my boy. Let me go and see if he's all right. Oh, John! went shopping and she bought a pink fluffy rabbit. Mm. And you've got a long way to go. Don't let it get the better of you. Okay? We're going to play a little game. Do you think she's up to a game? My granny went shopping and she bought a pink fluffy rabbit. Mm. Your turn. My granny went shopping and she bought a pink fluffy rabbit. Good. And a rocket. Excellent. Mm. Alice, your turn. Oh. My granny went shopping and she bought a rocket. No, no, you've got to say all the things in order, OK? OK, free shot. One, 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 one go. She bought a, a fluffy pink rabbit, a rocket and a, a pre-cooked supper from the supermarket. OK, excellent. Good. My granny went shopping. She bought a pink fluffy rabbit, a, a pre-cooked supper from the supermarket and um, uh, uh, the Tower of London. OK, Martha, your turn. My granny went shopping and she bought... Chris Shearer? She, Chris Shearer? What is, what is that? She, what did she buy? Messages. OK, forget it, forget it. Alice, you'll go. She's a... Krishu, she bought a Krishu. Krishu, the baby's coming. Krishu, I'm in the hospital and the baby's coming. You've got to get here. Get here. What should we do? Ah! She's just begun. Alice, need to go on for hours. Huh? Your turn. Dr. Truman, are you OK? Your turn. You're in hospital. Right. Can you point me in the direction of the birth part of this place, please? You need to get that looked at so you could be infected. No, I need to get to the labour ward. Yeah, and you seem a bit confused, you know? You might have post-traumatic stress, concussion. No, no, no. I'm having a baby. Schizophrenia? No, my wife. My wife's having a baby. I need to be with her. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Can you please call the ward or something? Yeah, what's her name? Marta. Marta Van Appeared. Uh, no. It might just be a little problem there. And you are absolutely sure that no one has been brought into you at St James's? No, no, I'm at City now, and she is definitely not here. Well, wouldn't you be? When you hear anything, if you hear anything, I'd appreciate it if you'd give me a call. Thank you. Uh, you have my mother. I see they drag you in, too. So typical of this place. Never a guaranteed night's off. I didn't even make it to dessert. <sighs> that waiting area is fit to bursting with injured and traumatised people, some of whom are your staff. One kid has been killed, two are fighting for their lives, and you are complaining about missing dessert. There's no need to take that tone with me. I'm perfectly aware of the situation. I don't think you are. My daughter is in that club. And she's still missing. I'm so sorry. If I... What? You would have behaved differently? Of course. Look, 
Why don't you sit down? Can I get you a cup Marilyn, of tea? Marilyn, you haven't got a clue, have you? You've completely forgotten what this is all about. My granny went shopping. She bought a pink puppy rabbit, a rocket, a pink book something in the supermarket, a tower of London, a crochet, clean towels, Alice rubber back. No, lower, lower down, lower down. Uh, a bellows, uh, whale music, a needle. Oh, I can't uh, do it! I need help! Uh, I'm okay. We need to get her out of here. Right. Hello? Come on, somebody, please! Hello! Happy New Year! Come on! Yeah. Come on, guys, keep pushing the blood and fluids up on all the lines. The please. bullet will have tumbled yeah. through the cavity. It could be total yeah. carnage. No evidence of any blood on the trachea or the esophagus. No choking or bubbling. Clearly hasn't hit a major vessel. Could have just missed the organs and torn through the breastbone and chest muscle. Yeah. Villiers. Dean Villiers. I know I'm rubbish with names, but wasn't it a Kate Villiers we had earlier? Gunshot wound to the head? Yeah. Yeah, we did. What do we reckon? Took a pop at his mum? She's still here. In cubicles, but can't or won't remember anything about the shooter. No output. Uh, he's arrested. Okay, let's hope no more comes to have a bleed from a cardiac wound. Can we have a milligram of adrenaline, please? And uh, uh, let's carry him with the cardiac mass. My guess is attention pneumothorax. We've got to make a decision here. It's a large operative procedure versus a small needle through the chest, and I know which one I'd try first. Come on. Pass me a large ball cannula, a three way tap, and a syringe, please. Do you get that, please? It's in my pocket. It's Sean. Tell him I'll just be a minute. She'll just be a minute, okay? Fingers crossed. Yeah, we're getting an output again. John, cubicles now. Well done. Good call. No, good job all round. Hello. Sorry about the fall. Yeah. <laughs> Mac. Uh, I was just tidy. Before midnight, mm. I was in cubicles and you came by. Dr. Windus was talking to me. Do you remember what she was saying? Did you hear her telling me to discharge the patient? I wasn't really that tuned in. Anything about a neck collar? Sorry. A ghost train. Well, music, I need a ghost train. Oh, you claustrophobic, aren't you? Jim, it's time for this. How long have you had it? Uh, since I was a kid. I'll tell you about it someday. Okay, Martha, what did she buy? What did she buy? A baby? No, not yet. I don't like you. I don't like this game. It doesn't matter. I don't mind. What else did she buy? Go on. A horrible doctor. Excellent. Fine, that'll do. Alice, you'll tell her. What did she buy? Don't kill me. What do I do here? Oh, no. Tell you the no. Well, you got to watch, haven't you? Well, go and get on with it. Time them to. Been a bit further to the left. I don't know, was it? You done? Where are you going? To help. No, I can't take responsibility for you as a member of my staff. On, you shouldn't even have been in recess earlier. You're a victim of a shooting. That's a minor injury, though. Sit down. Look, you need an extra pair of hands, and it's chaos out there without. Without Charlie. Wait there. The police will be through. Video's cubicle. I'm a mental health nurse. Oh, 
Hi Kate, I'm John Denham, the mental health nurse here. I've already told the police. I, I, I can't remember anything. Do you mind? I've been with a young man called Dean Villiers tonight. He was involved in a shooting in a nightclub. We were just wondering if he was a relation of yours. Do you have a son? My son was with me this evening. Looking after his little sister. Do you recognise this? Kate, did your son have anything to do with your injury tonight? I was shot by a stranger this evening. I never saw him, and I never want to see him again. <laughs> Get on to orthopedics again, see if they can send someone down. Something wrong? No. I thought you'd gone home. Well, I understand you're a little stretched, so I thought I could be of some help. I might be a bit rusty, but I was once considered a jolly proficient nurse. Mr Jones needs to go to orthopaedics, and we've missed his halt in five for obstetrics. Well, the lift is broken, so till we get an engineer, you'll have to go the long way round. Right. Once you get back, there's a pile of property that needs listing. Anything else? You can start by sorting out our friend over there. <laughs> How are you doing? How can everything be fine one moment and completely? Completely changed. Sorry. I'm so sorry. If I just stayed in bed ten minutes more, oh, this is all my fault. No. It's not your fault. <laughs> I was meant to be going dancing tonight. <laughs> it might still be all right. You never know, you, you might be fine. I was really scared. <laughs> Just take it one moment at a time. Don't think too far ahead. Do you know where your son could have got hold of a gun, Mr. Frampton? I keep telling you, he's my stepson. I'm sorry, your stepson. He's never liked me. I've tried my best with him, but he's just never liked me. Do you know how Dean would have had access to a firearm? I knew we should have got rid of that stuff. You had this in the house? It's from his father's effects. It's war booty. He fought in the Gulf. Kizzy? Kizzy? Oh, excuse me. Kizzy, what are you doing here? Mr. Frank, well, you're supposed to be babysitting for us tonight. Cancelled. What do you... No, I didn't cancel. Nobody's Kizzy. cancelled anything. Kizzy, Dad! Dad! What happened? Oh, these men! Kizzy, please. I saw her on the floor and ran. Kizzy, I'm totally all right, darling. It's all over now. Kizzy, I need to know where Millie is. It's so horrible, Dad. She ran away. I'm sorry. I'm so scared. Kizzy, please, I need to know where Millie is. I'm sorry, please. Dean phoned and said I wouldn't leave. It's all right, Daddy. It's all right, Daddy. It's all right, Daddy. Dean, you, need to, you need to try and breathe through it, babe. It's like we learned at the clinic, yeah? That's good, that's good. I'm here, I'm right here. Sing to me. Sing something really low. I suppose the nurse. He wants to talk to you. Hello. You need to sing to her. It's the only thing that will calm her down. Close to you, do you know what I mean? Oh. Why do girls suddenly appear? Put me on loudspeaker. 
Every, Every time you are near, you can There's virtually no break in the contractions. I think she's nearly there. You need to check her dilation. Me? Oh, yes, do it, do it now. No, 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 I don't think I can. Alice, oh, I can't really deliver a baby right now. You'll have to do it. Oh, God. Oh, God. This girl hasn't seen Millie all night. Dean cancelled the babysitters. I'm so sorry. He didn't need me. Darling, you have nothing to worry about. You've got to talk, Kate. You've got to tell us what happened. He's got our daughter. I think he shot our he daughter. He wouldn't do anything to her. I knew he wouldn't. He's just gone mad in a nightclub. He shot two people. I want to see him. Take me to him. You can't see him. I don't want you to see him. Get off! He's my son, Pete. He needs me. What, what son shoots his own mother? It was him, wasn't it? When are you going to stop protecting him, Kate? What's it going to take? He's his sister. He wouldn't do anything to her. He's evil! Maybe he is, but he's still my son! First girl, she was dead. Um, I took a pulse, but she had already gone. He shot her in the heart. The second girl, she could not move. He shot her in the face. What's happened to them? Oh, they were caught in the crush, trying to get out of the club. You see? You see what he's done? Just give us some time. <laughs> What's happened to her? She's the girl who was shot in the face. And you? He shot at me too. We're all lucky that he's a really bad shot. <laughs> Two sugars, you said. <coughs> Wait. <coughs> Everything all right in there? Yes, it's fine. Thank you. Smashing. Shall I take that? Finished. <coughs> We're nearly there now, all right? Come on, man. Yeah, so what's worth going on? Don't ask. This is just yeah. utter chaos. I'm doing my best, but it's not possible. I can't wait home with all the admin and the supervisor's department. 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 We need another senior nurse. Wait, we can't do it. Nor the place. What is it, Matt? I want to apologise for letting everyone down tonight. Now isn't a good time. I need you back on the department. I know I'm not popular among the staff. I know I'm not considered a good nurse, but I have tried. I think I've managed much better than I ever thought I would. Tonight has been the worst night of my life. It's been a very tough night for us all. Please get back with your patients. I'm no good with the patients. They don't want a nurse like me. This is the wrong time. You can short-circuit the inquiry over all at Inwald. I take full responsibility. I'm resigning. found dad. I'd love to see him. Why did you do it? So we could be here. Together. She needs to ask him about Millie. Where's Millie, Dean? Please don't be cross. Tell me. You're going to really miss her, aren't you? <laughs> oh, God. Where is she? Have you found my dad? Where's dad? Oh, my God. He thinks he's dead. He thinks we're in heaven.
It's just not over yet. Mine is. Love you, Mum. Just reassure him that you're not angry and ask about your daughter. Dean, where is Millie? told her to shut her eyes. But she didn't. Where is she? I had two bullets left. One for me. But I had to leave her behind. What does that mean? Because she's still alive. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm oh, sorry. She's in the car. You're going to really miss her. can't walk because of my mistake. But it wasn't your mistake. Look, I haven't been completely honest with you. Or with anyone else. I did tell you to take the collar off. And I did tell you to discharge her. And it is my fault that her neck is broken. So it wasn't me? I should be the one resigning, not you. I am sorry. It could have been me, though. I saw you in recess today. You're brave. You're committed. You're instinctive. This is it for you. This is everything. I, I don't belong here. Not really. You'll make a great doctor. I'd only ever make a passable nurse. Dancing anyway. Oh, look at the state of me. Took me an hour to do this there. Well, you don't look that bad. <laughs> come here. Hey, hey, come here. Sorry. No, no. You've been through a hell of a lot, and, well, apparently you was really brave. It was a face. 
She was so gorgeous. Come on, now. look. Why don't we get you somewhere more comfortable, yes? Yeah? <laughs> no, I'll be all right now. I'll be okay. Thank you, big man. <laughs> Mum, you said Dad was a hero. I don't feel like a hero. Who are all these people? I don't know what to say to him. You're doing great. This isn't heaven, is it, Mum? This is hell. His rate's not Dean? looking good. Dean. Brain's still so working. Really no, he's lost out. Oh. Can I have a milligram of adrenaline, please, Cam? Right, I think he may have ruptured his AO. He's in PEA. Can we, um, can we get him intubated, please? Let's get some more saline up and push these fluids through. Have we got any output yet? Hold on. No, not yet. OK, we're going to have to act quickly or we're going to lose him. Oh, what are you suggesting? Thoracotomy. Yeah. Right, can we get Mum out of here now, please? Go Somebody? Is he dying? We're going to try and get him back, but we need to open up his chest first. No, no, I don't want you touching him. You Excuse me, your son will die if I don't operate on him right now. Oh, you understand? He's already. Will you get her out of here, please? How can he live with what he's done? No, there's still no output abs. It's a big risk without a surgeon. Is it one worth taking? This is the only way we can save his life. What would he want to be saved? And since when was that our decision to make? Please, please don't die. Please. Zoe. We'll go ahead with the thoracus. <laughs> Put your hand back, put your hand back. Okay, when the head starts coming out, you need to hold it, okay? Stop it coming out too fast. You need to deliver it, but not too fast, okay? Okay. Hold the next contraction. I can feel it. I can feel it. Okay, you need to support the head and shoulders. Alright? Is it there? Is it there? It's coming! It's coming! <laughs> Check. No, there's nothing. So we think we should stop. We all agreed. Yeah. I had to try. Time of death, 8.30 a.m. That's exactly the time he was born. 18th of June, 1990. Okay, support the head and shoulders. Hold, hold the hips and legs. Alice, wait. I, 
um, you did an incredible job in there. I, I underestimated you, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being about as useful as a jellyfish. Hey, come here. Just as well I want brain surgery, eh? <laughs> Mrs. Curtis is settled in the relatives' room. What's next? Shift's over now. Take a break. Thank you, sir. Marilyn? Is there something else? Thank you for helping. My pleasure. I think no, please, mate. please, mate. I've got, I've got to do this. I've got to do this. He's got the right idea, hasn't he? We're so lucky, John. I'm so lucky. Idea, oh. Hey, was the news on that boy? Did he make it? No, but his mum did, and they found his little sister. Where's that tea gonna make me, John? You guys are not gonna believe this. I can't believe it. What? I just delivered a baby. Me, all by myself in the well, lift. Where were you? I was there. Well, why didn't you help her then? Uh, he did. He was amazing. We did it without anything. This beautiful little girl. Do we need to talk about this, Adam? Uh, no, Tess, we don't. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Oh, forget the tea. Let's open the champagne. <laughs> OK. If we're toasting, we should raise a glass to you. Be silly. No. You've seen this department through a nightmare shift tonight. <laughs> and you should have to do it on your own, but you did. Alice, Kelsey. Ruth, do you want one? No, right, thank you. Ooh, where's Nadia to? I'm not sure to miss a party. Ah, the staff room and champagne. Good timing. Everyone, this is Zoe Hannah, our new consultant. Oh, oh cheers. I'm going to need something to soak this up with. I'm back on shift in a bit. Anyone know where I can get a good breakfast around here? Uh, hi, I'm Madam Truman. I don't think we met. Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Uh, yeah, there's a great greasy spoon around the corner. We should go there. Right. So, to Tess and the new year. To everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Has anyone seen my shoes? <laughs> you see Tess, love? You all right, Tess? <laughs> right. right, we need a doctor in here. Get a doctor in here, please. Stop it. Yeah, let's see. Everyone? Right, let's have breakfast. Thank you, Alice. Thank you. Oh, 
Casualty is back next Saturday at 8.35 here on BBC One. I'm a witness to murder. So there were suspicious circumstances? Perhaps you've not fully understood. I will not be intimidated. Billy Piper stars in The Shadow in the North next on BBC One.